We all woke up this morning in London and looked out our windows and saw it had snowed and it was really beautiful. And then suddenly you think of all those people who are sleeping outside. I was in Lebanon last year. It was utterly freezing cold. A woman that we met showed me um, the grave of her two-year-old child who'd frozen to death the night before. Last winter in Greece, it reached minus 13 degrees. There were babies outside, mothers just desperate to keep their babies warm. You know, these very basic needs, you just wouldn't think that we'd have to be thinking about in Europe, but we are. Where's the humanity in all of this? It doesn't really make any sense to me. Hopefully, we can try and do a little bit to help. The Cheese Love Shop's been open since Black Friday and it's open till Christmas Eve. During the festive period, a lot of people start to feel frustrated by the consumerism everywhere. It should really be about the feeling of giving and that warm, fuzzy feeling inside. Doing something for someone else is the best feeling in the whole world, so it was really cool to create a physical place where you can get come down and get that feeling. You walk in and there's this big long table with different items on it that just look like everyday items to you or me, but actually they're life-saving for a refugee. The life jacket on the table is actually a real life jacket that was worn by a child on their journey from Turkey to Greece. When people come in here and thank God, like my child is the same size as that. That's m taken them to a whole different place. The same with a child's coat and the thought of a child being really cold this winter while we're all tucked up at home having a mince pie. I think it's made people really think. And then my favorite section of the table um, is the future. We don't really believe that people should be living in a refugee camp. People should all have the same opportunities that we all have. So there's a school bag and school supplies to make sure children can go to school. Who knows what that might lead to. There's a whole lost generation of children out there. We have no idea what those kids might grow up to do. You know, they could be the kid to cure cancer. We just need to make sure that we give them that chance. Um, we've only been open two weeks, but a, an order of children's coats is already um, arriving in Greece and going to be distributed. The really important thing to remember about this shop is that where you're spending your money, that money is going to go and reach the people who need it most and quickly. I think quickly is a really, really important word because those people are outside in the cold right now. Choose Love is at the heart of everything that we do. We were really lucky that Catherine Hamlet said that she would do a t-shirt with us and we were all thinking about what should the t-shirt say? And Catherine said, what you guys do is you're choosing love. That was a kind of take on the her Choose Life t-shirt, which was made famous by George Michael. Because it's not just about the refugee crisis, it's about a way of, a way of life. The response to the shop has been overwhelming. Kids coming in who are just like, oh my gosh, mommy, I want to buy that for another child. It's been lovely. And seeing families come in together has been one of the most lovely things. It's a place for everyone. This shop is due to close on Christmas Eve, but the refugee crisis, sadly, um, isn't going to be ending on Christmas Eve. But we can all keep on doing something to help. A lot of the people we work with say that they've seen the worst of humanity but they've also seen the best and that's what's amazing is that people just step up and people want to help they want to try and make a difference in the world I never imagined to discover that there were children um, as young as eight living on their own in Calais through that advocacy work and the dubs amendment um, some of those kids are now here I was lucky enough to see one of them he's in school now and I asked him what his favorite subjects were and he said mathematics and literacy and it just like my heart melted. It was so lovely and I'm so excited to see what he goes on to do with his life.